John Paul de Gioria, the American entrepreneur of Greek-Italian provenance and uh, who became later known <clears throat> as a self-made billionaire and philanthropist um, who actually created the Paul Mitchell um, line of hair products and the Patron Spirits Company can teach us how to become an entrepreneurial leader under toughest conditions. Watch this video until the end so that you can learn how you can become successful based on John Paul de Gioria's story. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur and I'd like to help you to become a great leader. In these series of videos, you're going to get the latest tips, tricks and tools about great leadership for entrepreneurs and the right management. If you would like to know more about this, click the red button underneath the video and switch on the bell so that you are not going to miss any new video. The jewelry success secret number one is sell something. Now, Dejoria started at the age of seven or so to sell Christmas cards. And um, if you remember the video that I made about great business leaders, um, maybe you remember the, uh, the story about Warren Buffett who sold Coca-Cola on the beach. Now, many, many great entrepreneurs are great salesmen too. If you are not a great salesman and you want to do it alone, it's going to be very, very hard to be a successful entrepreneur. So either you're going to learn the sales traits or you team up with a salesy uh, person. Uh, remember, for example, for those of you who, who do remember, uh, the founding team of Apple was uh, Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs, where Wozniak was the entrepreneurial technological guy and Jobs was the entrepreneurial sales guy. And that combination actually made it a success. So success six number one from John Paul de Gioria, sell something. Success secret number two from John Paul de Gioria is, from my point of view, start at the grassroots. You can't start your business with big plans and strategies and then you ask people to do it and they are the big boss. That does not work. It is much, much more important to do the work yourself at the beginning, also that you know how it is and how it goes and how, how hard life is uh, at the bottom of uh, the food chain. The Joria, for example, he was a door-to-door -door salesman, uh, for example, for insurances and uh, also encyclopedia. That's a very, very hard job. But once you've started at this, these grassroots, you can learn a lot from it and later on um, give, it, give your experience to others and uh, translate your experience into a more conceptual uh, setups of your uh, company and your divisions. And success secret number three from John Paul de Joria is don't be afraid to do it on your own. Don't be afraid to bootstrap. Be ready to bootstrap. John Paul de Joria started his first business actually with $700 in, uh, when was that? In 1980, that was the Paul Mitchell line of hair products. So that is actually something that you can do. Start small and step by step build something. Be ready to bootstrap if you don't find the investors. If you believe in your idea, it's gonna work. And the other thing is there's a nice side effect because you can keep more shares if you don't have other external investors in the business. Now, three lessons that we can learn from John Paul de Joria, the self-made billionaire, an American philanthropist who is of Greek-Italian origin. He made it under toughest conditions because he comes from nothing basically. And uh, just by applying the three principles of first of all, selling something. Secondly, starting at the grassroots, doing the simple stuff and the basic stuff first. And number three, being ready to bootstrap his business. He made it to become a successful entrepreneur. Now, if you want to learn all the tricks and tips and tools and methods of the greatest leaders worldwide, join my life community by just clicking on the red button underneath this video and becoming a member and always being informed. You will be if you also click on the bell. Now, if you like this, please also give us a thumbs up or share the video. I'd be more than happy to have you in the future. This was Armin L. Rao from Elan and Rao, the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.